out there and welcome back to the Rusty Mats channel. Welcome back to my year seven series. Now we took a break off the year seven series for quite a while. I've been doing some GCSE stuff but now it's time to come back and do some of the simpler things that the students are looking for. Anyway we're jumping straight into probability. So the next few videos in this particular series is going to be all about probability. Now let me take you back a little bit. Now when you were in primary school and you did probability, you use specific words to represent your probability. So for example, if the probability was zero, you said that this thing was impossible. And then if it was one, you said that that thing was certain. If it landed somewhere in the middle, you said that there was an even chance and then between those, between those, you had either that it was unlikely or it was likely to happen. Now, here in the big bad world of secondary school, we do not use those kind of language now because we need to be able to calculate probability, which means we need to come with numbers. OK, so first of all, let's see what numbers we're going to get. Well, we've got the first two numbers, zero and one. Those two numbers give you your barrier for your probability. So anytime you're finding the probability of an event, it will always be between zero and one. So that means then what we're saying is that the probability will usually be a decimal, okay? Or you can represent your probability as a fraction, or you can represent your probability as a percentage. OK, so these are all the different ways to represent your probability. But bear in mind, we're looking for between zero and one. So if you ever want to calculate the probability, you need a little formula. And the formula says that to calculate probability, we divide the desired outcomes or the outcomes we're looking for divided by the total outcomes. Now, I would say outcomes, I would say events quite a lot. So we get used to that sort of language. So probability is desired outcomes over total outcomes. Now, before I actually do some calculation on that, reach into my pocket. Here I have a die. Now, the correct terminology is die. More than one, you call it dice. But when it's one, it's a die. But for the sake of those people who might get upset with me, let's call this a dice for now. And if it's fair and you want the probability of anything, so for example, I can see there I need to find the probability of getting a four. Well, there's only one four on here, but there are six sides. So the desired outcome, what I'm looking for is a four, but the total outcome would be six. OK, so I hope you get that. So anyway, the probability of getting a four, therefore, is one out of six. And just like that, I've represented my probability as a fraction, which is one of the ways we said we can represent it. Now, last of all, to finish off this video, then um, there are a number of things we can calculate probabilities for. But let's go on to that bottom one and then I might sneak another question in there. So in this bottom one here, I have got to find a multiple of three. So here I got my dice again. How many multiples of three I've got? Well, I have got the number three. That's a multiple of three. And the number six is also a multiple of three. So there are two multiples of three. So when I go to my desired outcome, there are two multiples of three. That's what I'm looking for. Total outcome that's going to be six. So therefore, multiple probability of a multiple of three would be two out of six. You can simplify this as one third if you like, but it's good just the way it is. Now, I forgot to mention at the beginning of the video that when you see probability in the real world, in the wild, as we say, it will have a P next to it. So they're going to say a P and in bracket, they're going to tell you what the event is or what it is that they want you to find a probability of. So look out for that. Really super important. Anyway, one last question to sneak in before we finish this one. And so for this one, I am going to have a bag. And in that bag, I am going to have three red counters and I'm going to have one, two, three, four purple counters. And I'm going to finish off with two green counters. And I'm going to say we're going to pull, pull a counter from that bag, one counter. What's the probability that it is red? 
So I will write it like this so you get used to seeing it, probability of a red counter. Well, the desired outcome is red. That's what I want. The total outcome though would be nine because I've got nine counters in total in the bag and the red counters, there are only three. So therefore the probability of getting a red counter is three out of nine. Again, you can leave it like that. If you want, you can simplify that and say that that is a third. All right, did you get it? I hope you understood this really simple, quick video on calculating probability. If you did, give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe below for more content like this. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.